I'm Megan McDermott here at Counterbalance's home base for the winter season here in Wellington. The mare I rode today is Latina 262. She is a 10 year old mare I have here for sale. She's super fun, competitive, brave, gives you a great feeling in the ring. The first exercise I had set today was a straight line with just rails on the ground that walks between nine and 10 strides. First time you do it, maybe you're at 10 strides. If you lengthen a little bit, you get to nine. I even do eight now and then to just test out kind of your, your gallop. The second exercise was also a rail on the ground line, which is basically three or four strides to three bounces to three or four strides. Rails on the ground are one of my favorite things to do at home. Um, you get to practice things like lines, strides, adjustability, straightness, and set the same sort of challenges that you're gonna face in the course without actually the wear and tear of the horse putting the effort into jumping. The jumping exercise was actually the same thing as our second rail line, just with jumps. We have an oxer, then three or four strides, so about 42 feet, three bounces, and then another three or four strides, 42 feet, to another oxer. What I love about this is that you, the horse has to jump a bit across the oxer, then they have to be ready to either collect or to lengthen to do either the four or the three. The bounces kind of help them like reset their strides. You have to rock back, recalibrate, and then you have the same exercise again. So they have to stay really sharp and they're, they're working on both reaching for the oxer and also rocking back for the bounces in the same line. The Negan McDermott jump panels I have, they came from Javin Dalman, but I didn't even know that at the time. They were a gift to me from my friend Vasco Flores. And uh, it was super exciting because I wasn't expecting it. And then um, when I got them, it was like the first branded like thing that I even ever had for my business, <laughs> minus a couple saddle pads. I love the spiral rails. I had a horse who would always have them down in the ring, like no matter what. And it wasn't until I was at a barn that had them actually that we could train them regularly and then he started jumping them in the ring fine. I think sometimes they look a little bit at them, um, there's, there's a lot going on for them. And they normally either jump them really great or they get a little confused and they'll be a little slow with their front end. So having them at home tends to help uh, get them used to it and then you can know exactly where you're going to get in the ring. Javin is a blast to work with. When I was ordering jumps this winter, I told him that he was basically like a jump therapist. Like I'd be like, okay, like here's here's what I kind of want to work on. Here's my problems I'm having in the ring. What should I do to train at home to fix differently? So not only are you getting you know an excellent quality product, but also you're getting help with what's going to serve your purposes best. What's kind of the the most efficient way to get the jumps that are going to be the right training tools for your needs. <laughs>